Okay, so this time we're going to do multiplying fractions, but a little bit more complicated numbers, but it should be okay for you. And there's plenty of practice sheets at the bottom of the screen if you want to download those and have a go at them yourself. So the first question I'm going to give you is 2 thirds multiplied by 3 whole ones. And like we've done before, we're going to rewrite that and say 2 thirds multiplied by 3 over 1. It just makes things a little bit easier. And, like we've done before, we can also treat the top in exactly the same way that we treat the bottom. So anything that happens to the top above this line, we also need to do to the bottom. So, to make the numbers a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is get rid of these 3's, because both of them can divide by 3. And if you divide 3 by 3, you get 1. And if you divide 3 by 3, you also get 1. So the question now is 2 times 1, which is 2, 1 times 1, which is 1. So 2 over 1 equals 2. So the answer to 2 thirds times 3 is 2. OK, so I'm just going to make it a little bit more complicated now. And I'm going to put the question up on the board here, which is 2 and a half times one and a quarter. Now the way to do this is to make these into fractions. So what we do is we say two times two plus one. So two times two is four, plus one at the top is five. So it becomes five over two. I'm going to do exactly the same with the next one. One times four is four, plus one is five. So that becomes 5 over 4. Now, as we did before, if we treat everything along the top the same as everything along the bottom, there's not a lot I can do with those, because there's no number that will go into the top and into the bottom, so I can't cross divide or cross multiply. So what I'm going to do is work it out. And I've got 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 4 is 8. So now the fraction is 25 over 8, which is actually the answer. But what is nice to do is to then break that down into a whole number and a little bit that's left over. So 8 into 25 go 3, because 3 eighths are 24. And then 1 eighth is left over, because I've actually got 25 there. So the answer to this question, 2 and a half times 1 and a quarter is 3 and 1 eighth. So, convert them into fractions, look to see if you can reduce it, top and bottom, to make your numbers a little bit easier, multiply it through, and then work it out into a whole number plus a fraction that's left. There's plenty of things to try at the bottom of the screen. Have a go, see how you get on.